Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tips and tricks video and this time we are covering pillars and beams and the things you can do with them. Um, you can get a lot out of pillars and beams for aesthetic purposes and that's what I'm going to be showing you now. Okay so here we have our walls on either side and I've placed this glass wall in the middle which as we all know is not so simple to do because it won't let you now the some people may go about doing this with a raw barrier placing it there like that and then putting it on the end of the raw barrier to get your middle that is certainly one way you can do it another way you can do it is to come down like this let's pinch that put these let me put that on zoom across like this and then you can put your window wherever you want it doesn't have to be directly in the middle you can move it to one side you can almost snap it like that then if you're putting it in the middle this way trying to be precise as possible then get rid of these and put them back and that is how that is done now because you can use a raw barrier for that that was easy easy but this one is a bit more different so as you can see here we have a, a sign a window and walls all in one spot so we're going to replicate that on the other side the first thing we need is to take that wall and put your wall there then we need our sign so we get our sign and place it on the wall that's the easy part done now if we get his window it's not going to let us place it there it just will not let you place it there so what you can do is again put your pillars underneath and then this will allow you to place just in front like that and then with your walls it's not going to let you place them on in front of it so what you can do not that let's get rid of that a second so let's get rid of these we want to place this wall there so what we can do is this if we put it to the side like this and then put one on top and then instead of trying to place it on the glass if you place it off the edge of this you get the shape you're looking for switch over to this one and we should be able to do the same right now we can't so i'm gonna put that there and then put that on that side now we can get rid of these just like that put our walls back and we can get rid of these on the floor like that put that back and then another little trick that i learned very recently on the, on the live stream is that you can point at your sign and you can alt and c to copy it you know you have to be close enough you can alt and c and i've copied the sign and alt b paste the sign and that's how you get them all together like this all squeezed together another thing you can do with pillows is you can get them in any angle you like and i've put this in the middle just to give you an idea of its shape in the direction it's facing so to get that in that direction something you can do with pillows pillows <laughs> pillars is this you can place one down and then if you're placing on the side and you hold control you can rotate it so rotate it 45 and then place it and you can go on this side here as well and rotate it again and that is how i've got that in that angle as you can see so you can make all sorts of angles all sorts of shapes just by playing around 
you know you can keep going you don't have to have a full 45 you can turn it just slightly like this and then just slightly like that and that'll give you another angle altogether so that's how you can change the shape and angle of the pillars something else you can do is this is the standard what most people use these for the pillar supports and the pillar in the middle you can make circles out of the pillars and this is done by placing one down and then holding control and getting your angle so get it centered up and then move it one and then place it and then if you stay on there you can move it another and then place it and then move it another and then place it and just keep doing this and continuing it round until you get your circle which we're almost there so we might as well finish it off and once you have your circle you can just follow it on by placing so hang on let me take off zoop we'll put it on default and we can click on that line click on that line that line that line that line that line and it'll start placing them around in the circle for you or you can do it and then zoop it up to the top that's how i did that one i just zooped it so you know i click the line you want switch to zoop and then go up and then click the next line and then go up so on and so forth this is kind of the same idea so what we're doing here is we're placing it down and then we're putting our pillar on top then we're selecting the pillar base again holding control pointing at this beam here holding control and then turning it so now there's two there and then if you get your pillar and then point at that one you get that like star shape and that's how I built this and this is exactly the same as what we did here but what we're doing if I get rid of these on the bottom is you're just clicking on each line so one there one there one there and going all the way around until we get that shape at the bottom So that's you know four different ways you can use these pillars for decoration i think the circle ones actually look really good these ones uh if you was going with a build that's more jagged edged then you could use that so another really interesting thing you can do with pillows is uh, pillows pillars is this circles you can make cylinders and circles with pillars as you can see it's like a little tunnel and this is actually quite simple to make however it is time consuming but i'm going to show you how this is done so first of all we have this piece here so to get that i'm going to come up off the ground to as high as i want say there and then at the top i'm going to place one and bring it back and that's going to be our center post that's how I got this and then basically what you want to do is make sure you're on the edge of the pillow a uh, pillar or beam should I say and then go down to where you want to be so in this case we're using eight meters as you can see here that's five six seven and eight and then you've got this beam at the bottom so let me just get rid of these so i can show you how i place that so from there what we can do is go down to eight like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to run from this end it's very tempting to put it at that end and start going and say it works but it doesn't work and then you end up with some sort of weird spiral that doesn't work so start from this end start from the center and go out and then what you're going to do once you've done that is get rid of these and get rid of that and that's your first block placed next what we're going to do is we're going to switch to freeform mode and again i'm from the edge and you're going to go down to this block and you're going to go to the edge of it like this so you're in the center 
in the direction of the circle and then to the edge of that beam like that so now we have that beam there and again we're going to go from the edge from the center to the edge get rid of these ones get rid of that one and rinse and repeat and you're going to keep doing that like that and eventually what you're going to end up with is your circle it is time consuming but it depends on whether you're doing a large circle or a small circle oh that was placed wrong if you're doing a small circle this doesn't actually take that long um five ten minutes and it will be ready however beams go up to 40 meters and you can do a full 40 meter circle which would take you a lot longer because obviously you're going 40 meters out so 10 of these won't even make it so you have to do two sets of running the beams across etc see now here because we've got this what i would do is i get rid of that and keep going and as you can see we've got a quarter circle there you keep going and you'll end up with this now the edges don't look all that pretty at the moment there should be one there in between and one there in between but they don't look that pretty the smaller they are however if you do a big one like this one here you can see the edges are a lot smoother look much neater the inside edges are really smooth and the beauty with uh, these pillars is that these will go all the way around them just nicely this one is a 40 meter one so if i get this here and i go all the way out to here it's exactly 40 meters and it runs all the way around it now a 40 meter one will take you a lot longer but just like that you can see what i had to do to extend it out so basically what you would do if you wanted this to be a really big long tunnel you would find your edge or one off and run it out and then find your next edge which is there and run it out and you know you're doing it right because of these lines here as long as those lines match up you're doing it correctly and you can see that line there and then you can just run that all the way around and you'll have a large open tunnel but for this episode that's pretty much it um, if you do want to see more different tricks and things like that using pillars and beams let me know in the comments uh, or join the discord and let me know there and tell me what you want to see and I will do a tutorial video uh, or a tips and tricks video on that so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye